welcome to episode 5 the final day let's see where we get the lion or the leopard that's still needed let's look at what you got yesterday down here in the southwestern area looks like a lot of activity in the Pretoria Scop Road as well as then obviously the main road to Skukuza from Malalan we're going to concentrate on this area here today I just want to go to that one dam where we got the elephants fighting but then the rest of the time we're going to try and see what we can get in this area and wrap it up around about two o'clock because I've got a lot of video and photos to file and make sure that I've got it in the correct folders before we go to the panorama route tomorrow. We just left camp two minutes after we left got the first buffalo on the right hand side and minutes later about four or five of them the light was still very very darkish so I had to push the ISO on the camera to get real good footage so it might be grainy but the footage is there and um, it, it's two beautiful bulls that I got and um, we're doing a loop around the camp at the moment to see what we can get around the camp and then we'll go towards Numbi Gate and then Albasini Ruins.
Cheers. So uh, we just did a 20k 90 minute loop around Pretoria's Cop. We've decided to come have coffee at the hut and um, just get warm. It's, it's quite nippy this morning. It didn't rain last night. We thought it was going to rain. There was all like two or three drops and nothing happened. And uh, yeah, this morning is just very, very nippy. So have a quick coffee and then um, off to do the rest and see what we can get before finishing this little self-drive safari. Cheers. As you've seen, we just took the same road we took earlier this morning. Decided to go see if we can still see that buffalo that was lying on the ground there. The light was very, very dark this morning, so uh, just try to get it with a much, much better lighting condition at, at this stage. And um, yeah, got some nice birds around the face eating the ticks. Buffalo's not even bothered about it. Beautiful little animal.
So I'm not sure if you could see what, what happened there, but that is a carcass in the water with a lot of vultures as well as other birds feasting on that carcass. Not sure what type of animal was it, might be zebra or something, if I look at the size of the vertebra, but otherwise, uh, or the rib bone specifically, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful footage, and then still more vultures circling around, waiting their turn. This is Albassini ruins. The remains of the 19th century trading post of the famous Portuguese trader, Joao Albassini is found at the new Fabini Gate, 10 kilometers from Hazy View.
The ruins is 150 meters east of the Fabini Gate. Remains of the trading post of Joe Albasini. Today, the Albasini ruins is a cultural heritage site that is well worth a visit during your time in and around the Kruger National Park.
we just left Transport Dam again, so we've made the loop all the way around back to Transport Dam, and uh, we've got now 19 k's to get to Setlavi Dam again, just to see what's going on there. I hope that it looks good because um, we've got some nice water buck specifically at Transport Dam now. So let's see. This is how bumpy the road is, so just take it slow while driving here. But otherwise, really, you can do it with any car. It's not a problem. Just drive safe within your means, and you'll see everything that you need to see. We just got to Sitlavi Dam. There's just nothing happening there. The whole week there's been nothing happening. So uh, it's back now to the camp and start finalizing and numbering all the files of all these photos and videos. And maybe have a Sunday afternoon nap. self-drive in the Kruger National Park you need to have nerves of steel to sit down for long periods of time we've just done over a thousand kilometers for the last five days and we've decided to clock in early at the camp just uh, relax download the last images file and number them and uh, just have a lazy Sunday afternoon so we're just taking a stroll down the park in the in the camp just to see what is here we we got here late we leave early we come back late again so not really a lot to see when it's dark so taking the opportunity to just check what's going on In the Pretoria Scope area, there are a lot of rock boulders, or copies as we say. Now this swimming pool that's here has literally been built into the bottom of this rock boulder or copy. It is actually very beautiful. That's still part of the rock. And there you can see the blue where the pool starts. That's forming part of the rock. Look at that.
we decided not to bride tonight so seeing it as a Sunday night let's just do something different and that is to use the restaurant at Pretorius Cop. it's a wimpy well known all over and the big thing here is to say you don't have to drive 11 12 hours a day break rest do whatever you need to use all the amenities use the activities it's not just about the game there's so much else to do enjoy we're getting ready for a good night's rest tomorrow is the last day all the way back home but before we can do that we're doing the panorama route all this footage is for a safari website called mala safaris Today was quite tough in terms of a lot of the game that we saw, which was very, very far from us. Uh, it was so nice to have the lens that I rented from lensrent.co.za with the extender on to really get as close as I could with a lot of the images. As you've seen that the water buck on the other side of the, the dam, the buffalo on the hill, uh, there's so many other images where if it wasn't for the long lens and the extender, you know, we just wouldn't have been able to capture it and, and show it to you guys. So once again, if you go on a safari or any other trip or need a lens for any other activity or function, look at lensrend.co.za, look at their website, support Anton and the boys, and um, yeah, just make your life easier.